This tutorial will cover how to turn that brainstorming session into a project plan. You have quite a few other layouts, including a left-right view, an org chart, and also an outline view as well. And you can start out in any one of these views. Now let's turn it right back to the mind map view. So now let's say we're walking out of the initial planning and brainstorming meeting, uh, and we want the notes or the minutes to that meeting. Well, instead of redoing all this information in Microsoft Word, all we have to do is go up to File, Export, and we can take this right over to Microsoft Word. Now just by clicking Advanced Export, we can pick a template. There's quite a few to choose from. And under the general settings, uh, you can customize this and include that map image at the top. Now when you export, it's going to export in a hierarchy that we created, which also mirrors the numbering schema. So planning will be the first chapter, then product related issues, then marketing, then sales. Now as you see that it's exported, we're obviously in Word. Here's that product launch. Here's that image. Now the nice part about this is it automatically generates an interactive table of contents for us. So as I click on planning, here's that budget file that we put in. Here's that picture of packaging. And then here are those notes that we put in the text note editor. And all the office exports you see in MindView 3 Business are also imports. So if you make changes to this, you can always import it back in. And it's going to update a new mind map with those changes. Now let's proceed to turn this into an actual scheduler. So now that we've defined this scope, let's open up the task and time information. And what I have here is my project management rules enabled. And what that means is it turns these parent branches into actual summary tasks. It also changes that seven day working week into a five day working week, which is user defined. So for instance, let's say this setup team over here on the right hand side, I think it's going to take about eight days. You can adjust priority levels, adjust completion percentages, and you can also add resources, which you can import in from any type of directory, uh, including Outlook. So you can do some of this basic scheduling while you're in the mind map view. Now the advantage of this is that not everybody likes a Gantt chart. So what you can do is we can show this information on the branch, either individually or as a whole. So now what you have is that setup team with all the project information uh, down below. And since these are summary tasks, planning is now 25% complete. Let me hide this. Now normally what happens is that we create this on a whiteboard or even sticky notes. We have to take all that information and recreate it into a scheduler, whatever type of scheduler or software we use. But instead of wasting all that time, all we have to do is right click and we can view this map as a Gantt chart. Now, this Gantt chart is built in for you, and you can still utilize those drag and drop features to do your constraints, completion percentages, even start dragging and dropping your dependencies. And of course, as you start dragging and dropping these dependencies, your critical path starts to become outlined in red. Now, you can either do the scheduling in the Gantt chart itself, or with our task information box. And this can be initialized in the mind map view as well. Any information you add or change in the Gantt chart will reflect in the mind map. Now, let me grab a template, speed up this tutorial for you. And the template I'm grabbing is just a prettier version of what I was working on. Just like in all the other views, if you click on the design tab, You've got different skins that you can put on this Gantt chart. 
different shapes, different fill colors. Um, you can design these for better visual appearance. Now, if your standard is Microsoft Project that you use to schedule, you can export right out to Project. All you have to do is go to File, Export, hit Microsoft Project, Now we're in Microsoft Project, and it's the exact same thing that I was working on. And once again, it's a two-way street. So if you want to take a project file, Microsoft Project file, and import into MindView, you can do that as well. Display it as a Gantt chart, uh, display it as a work breakdown structure, export it out to Word. Um, so let's go back to MindView. Now we're back in the MindView software. A lot of times what happens is your upper level management doesn't necessarily want to see everything in a Gantt chart. It's way too detailed. They'd rather see uh, just in a timeline or just see the milestones. And in that case, all we have to do is switch this entire project plan to a timeline. Now what you have here is everything that we just talked about spread over a horizontal axis. Once again, on the Design tab, you can show these duration bars, or you can take them off. And you've got different layouts and timeline as well. So all you have to do is just scroll over. In this first one, what it will do is actually combine the Gantt chart down below and the timeline up above. And again, you've got three different layouts, you've got multiple styles, different coloring schemes, and once again, page path backgrounds, just like in any of the other views. Now, as I switch back to this Gantt chart, Within this Gantt chart, you also have project reports or even status reports. And to initiate those, just go under Gantt Tools, click Project Reports, save it anywhere on your desktop. Now what you're going to get is just a list of different project reports you can run. So for example, this Who Does What? It's a calendar of your resources, has the resource name, the task name, the notes they put in, and then the project information on the right hand side. And finally, let's go back to that original project we were working on, go back to the mind map view, and now I'll show you how to present this information maybe at the end of the project. So normally what we'll do is recreate this once again in PowerPoint. But instead of wasting all that time, all we have to do is click on File, Export, we're right over to PowerPoint. So now here's that PowerPoint presentation. So you've got that product launch, the four main work streams, planning with the task involved in planning, and of course any of the notes that we put in. And if I scroll down, Here's that picture of packaging I put in. And just like any of the other exports, it's also an import. So if you make changes to this, go ahead and import it back into MindView, and it's going to update a new mind map with those changes. After you've exported to PowerPoint, you also have the option to go out to Word. Um, which I've shown you, shown you PowerPoint, Excel. Outlook will take all these tasks and make them task in Outlook. And then you can synchronize the two software. So if you primarily work in Outlook, it'll update MindView and vice versa. This concludes the tutorial of how to turn this mind map into a project plan.